to share with you uh, all of the cool stuff that I got this weekend at an estate auction uh, that's going to go in my vintage booth in, the, in Nicholasville or in Georgetown. I'm really excited to show you because I'm really cheap and I don't pay a lot for anything. Uh, and also, sorry about the view, we're in the garage. This was the best lighting. It's really pretty on the other side. I'll have to show you the scenery. But for now, we've got garage view. So here we go. So first item up is a stack of enamel balls. I think there's three. One of them is just the, this kind. And then the others are full on it. Uh, granite, I think some people call them granite. I call them enamelware, but uh, I got this stack $2. So now I'm going to turn the camera around and, and walk with the camera and show off what we have. Okay, I wanted to also share this flyer that I got. Uh, it's huge because here is a regular little thing and it is big. But I did get this quite reasonably, as in, I think it almost went free because you can see it's cracked. But, and this is a really cool part. It has been repaired with metal staples, which I find quite fascinating in and of itself. How do you get a staple in there without the thing cracking apart some more? But, so this giant platter was worth enough for someone to go to the time and expense to pay someone to repair it. It looks like it has another crack in it, which they had taped on the back, but... It's quite gorgeous and was obviously well loved. So these are the bowls I just showed you. Uh, pardon all the other stuff in the garage because I got a lot of videos that I can go through. So here is this big basket. It's quite large, like a laundry basket. You can see that it it has uh, pictures and mirror frames, picture frames and mirrors in it. That one on there is the lot number. That's not. Well, I did pay a dollar for it, but I did. This was the most expensive thing in the whole haul. Uh, I paid eight dollars for the big basket, and that's a cool little thing that came in it. Vintage poodle concrete statue is from another sale, but moving along, another sale. Uh, I did get this nice wicker flower planter a planter and I thought it was really nice because it does have the metal inside there and it is uh, pretty old and vintage love all the oldness about it uh, enamel pitcher I think it was also a dollar this chair my wife got uh, very reasonably this was a box of tchotchkes again lot one but this literally came with the enamelware picture because it, no one would buy just the box of tchotchkes <clears throat> and I wanted the picture so it kind of came together same with the, this box of lovely goodness I think I saw the yellow dishes and thought oh I'm gonna go for it and it came with a lot of other stuff Namely these linens, which I'm usually, I love the old vintage linens, but there wasn't a lot of good linens in there. I do like this one. It's really colorful. You can see it looks like a table runner. This is an old picture. It's kind of pretty. It's nice. Saddler made in England. Uh, it's beautiful. I could put flowers in it or sell it as, a, as you know, in the booth. That wicker thing and this wicker thing was also not something that I bought actively. I wanted this table and in order to get the table very cheaply the wicker item came with it. Uh, also I wanted to show off these two they're like folk art bent wood uh, stools. One's a stool and I guess one is a table or smoking table, side table. And I'll, I don't really like the, love the color of the brown. They can always be painted because there's not a lot of value in them. Did get a good deal on them. 
bed. I thought green or white would look pretty. Got this little stool. Looks like somebody made it. Well, somebody obviously made it. <laughs> so, there are those tables. And I'm hoping the lawn guy comes today. He could use with the cut of the grass. And here's the gorgeous view that was behind me that I was actually trying to get as the background. <laughs> the lighting was just a glare. So there's that and here goes a sneak peek of the garage. Got a lot of loot in there that I need to sort through, get in the booth, and maybe get on video. Oh, I also wanted to talk about these mugs. We got these at the last weekend estate sale. And I was really smitten with this one because it's a coronation of, is it Edward the Seventh or Edward the Eighth? What is it? Eighth, Eighth. Uh, as you know, he's the King of England that abdicated for Wallace Simpson and Wallace Simpson Sutter. Yeah. So he never had a coronation ceremony. Although here is the mug, you know, to commemorate it, 1937. Uh, so the ceremony never went through. It's so I was really excited to get that. That's probably a keeper. We paid, actually when we got home and I looked it up, we, the price we paid for it is really what it's going for on eBay. So no profits being made. I mean, that's okay because I love this kind of stuff. The history and it's old and cool. So here's another thing. I think this might be a little ironstone mug. There's the whatever it's saying on the bottom. And uh, I saw it in someone's kitchen at an estate sale, obviously it's a mug. I think it's, I have a few little like children's mugs that, that are old that you can tell they were made for children. It fascinates me because they're, uh, I think, ironstone. And uh, they were made for children, so they were obviously breakable. But uh, this one is in, not in the best of shape, as you can see. And uh, I think, it, we got a big pile of stuff at that estate sale, and I can't imagine that it equaled out to maybe more than a dollar on this. Uh, and, and because his condition is not that great, he's not worth a lot online. You know, he has this, but again, I, I collected the children's little mugs in China, I guess, and uh, he's going to fit right in. He's a little bit smaller in stature. This is not a great big mug, the Edward one. He's not huge. As far as coffee goes, coffee mugs, and he's even smaller. I do have some smaller ones. Maybe that's a whole other video. But uh, there's that. Oh, uh, pardon all the other junk. This basket uh, was, it came inside my laundry basket or whatever this one is that I did pay seven or eight dollars for. I can't remember. So he was, he was inside that. So I got him. Let's walk over here. I've got some little prints that. My wife got sneak peek ostrich eggs. That's another video. <laughs> so, uh, we just have traffic rolling by here in Northern Virginia. This, I love these kind of frames. You've probably seen them before. Uh, maybe it's a style. If somebody knows, please tell me. Because I have a couple of bigger ones that are like this. This is kind of like a little mini almost size. Love that, and she spied that in a box of all these uh, pictures, like uh, these, and there's, which are nice frames, they're wooden. Anyway, I wanted to show, here's this thing that I should not have bought. I was far away, and they said tramp art, and I jumped on it for $2. It's not really worth $2. Lot 5, again, not the price, the lot number, but uh, it. I guess the paint is what they were saying. This picture was tramp art. All these pieces of the trim and mirror around it are broken. Well, there you go. So that's probably trash heap. I do like the way the mirror is old and losing the glazing. Is that what you call it? I love that. But I do want to try to get in here and climb around. Show you these neat prints down here. So it looks like they were cards, maybe even Valentine's, maybe not. So they look like they are, they're from the 70s. 
because I, I thought Valentine's because look at that. It's got a heart on it. And uh, this says the dieter. I don't know. Here's more. I'm going to pull them out. Bear with me. That one says the T to the TV addict. So, huh. They look rather old. Not exactly the era that I usually uh, look for, but very interesting and nonetheless, and yes, vintage, obviously. The busybody, Avon Collie. That's funny. There's just a few more. See, there another, a heart. So are they Valentine cards? It does say American Greetings, so maybe they were cards. And you can kind of see, well, that one's torn. You can see the folds in some of them. The Glamour Girl. And one more as I move the camera. The Crazy Driver. Again, a heart. You can see the crease right there. I don't know. If, I don't know what these are. But cool nonetheless. So now I'm going to move down here. And you did see this bathroom wicker thing. These are some of the picture frames that came in the lot that were, it was all for a dollar. But they're, they're wooden frames, so they're actually quite nice. This one looks like it's an actual watercolor somebody painted. What is this one? Oh. Army of the Potomac. We're in Northern Virginia, so a lot of the historical things that people are interested in involve this area. And... There's that. Uh, here are some beautiful lamps that we've got. I've not yet put them out. And again, if you see price tags on those, you should please ignore because my wife is an expert at going to estate sales, making a big pile, and then offering a price. And especially on Sunday afternoons, and especially late in the afternoon when they want to close up and they see that they still have a house full of, well, junk or things and they want it to go. So, uh, I, these aren't really my style, but they were too pretty to pass up, she says. So, they will uh, be a lovely addition somewhere. I'm sure somebody will love these. And I'm also in love with these kind of cabinets. They're like old enamel cabinets and... Uh, I don't know why, but we've got a couple of more in the back. I'll have to show you in the next video if anybody watches this. Hopefully my camera skills or my recording skills will get better. I know I'm wobbly. Some of the things are big though, so I can't exactly pick them up and put them in front of the camera with me sitting. Here is the... I think this was... Was this like for hors d'oeuvres? For, you know, gatherings or parties? And someone did tell me it makes sense that you put uh, like melon balls or cubes of cheese on toothpicks and you put them in there and that's how that's utilized. So I think that's a cool thing. We have several little houses and I'm not sure they're birdhouses either. So i uh, got to figure out what those are. Uh, there's the poodle. I saw him in the picture online and of the sale. And we had to have him, and he was already sold. The lady came back, and for some reason, she had the poodle with her. And that's how we got to buy her. So, sorry for the wiggly camera. And I just wanted to share all of my cool finds. I do this a lot. This is <laughs> what I do usually every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Or Sunday. And uh, so, thanks for watching.